we're hopeful that the new leadership uh, who, who both say that they want to take a different approach than Pallister will take one that's focused more on collaboration and working together. We are now just 10 days away from finding out whether Heather Stephenson or Shelley Glover will become Manitoba's 24th Premier. But the question looms, will the next leader of this province deviate from Pallister's reign or just follow in his footsteps? On September 1st, Kelvin Gertson became Manitoba's 23rd Premier, taking over the position from former Premier Brian Pallister. But Gertson's time in office is not a permanent one, only taking the role for two months. As weeks now turn into days, we inch closer to the October 30th date and find out whether former Health Minister Heather Stephenson or former MP Shelley Glover will become Manitoba's first female Premier. But Kevin Rebeck, President of the Manitoba Federation of Labour, says he wants to see change. We've got one of the worst minimum wages in the country and it only went up by a nickel. So again, a new Premier being serious should bring us back into the mainstream and look at moving a minimum wage to a living wage. And we've got over 50% of workers in Manitoba who have no paid sick days. Uh, that needs to change. Colin Fast, Director of Policy at the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce, says it's simple. Businesses want to see a solid plan from each candidate to help navigate them through the ongoing pandemic. I, I know that the pro provincial government has been working for a while on, in developing a plan, and we've recently, just uh, this week, seen you know the city come forward with uh, with its economic recovery plan, and uh, and the downtown biz and other organizations come forward with something specific to the downtown. So really, what we want to see is all these groups working together and, and everybody really moving in the same direction. You University of Manitoba political scientist Christopher Adams says it's hard to know who's leading the leadership race at this time, but by looking at public endorsements for each candidate, he says we might have an answer. Right now we're seeing many public endorsements for Heather Stephenson from across the business community, across the political community. And um, so, so I would say, roughly speaking, if we go by endorsements, that are publicly announced, I would say that Heather Stephenson's probably the leader right now. Rebecca says he's worried about the possibility of the next Premier following Pallister's footsteps. Uh, do I think there'll be a big radical shift? No, but I think there's lots of room for improvement and, uh, and I hope these candidates will live up to their promises to not follow Pallister's path. Both candidates were unavailable to speak today. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacity News.